You know, have I met a black preacher here in America? Yeah, I'll tell you the story quickly. Um, how I got to meet a black preacher. I actually went to his house. Uh, let's see what happened. My wife comes home one night. Oh, she rang me up and she told me that she had an accident that a um, young 16-year-old ran into the back of her car. Um, and she took it, the, the girl's address, uh, what do you call it, number plate, and the girl gave her a fake bloody, uh, what do you call it, telephone number, a few fake things like that. Anyway, um, after doing a bit of tracing and tracking down, I said to my wife, you know, look, she's damaged the back of the bumper bar the, on the car. I said, it's bent in, the light's out. Um, now, she owes us for the repairs. Um, she's only 16 and she's probably going to go home. Her dad's going to, you know, get off and, you know, go tell her off. So I said to her, let's go out to Pinson. Was it Pin? Yeah, let's go out to Pinson and you know, meet the father and tell him what happened and we'll arrange something for the repairs. You know, we wanted to do the right thing by the girl, you know, knowing that she was young. So we went out there, and out the pins, and it was getting on dark and we pulled up and banged on the door. The bloke answered and he's in a white shirt and he's, you know, pulling up his cuffs and he's, you know, doing whatever. And we told him exactly what happened, you know, that um, she ran into the back of his car. She wasn't home at the time, but she turned up not long afterwards. And he said, oh, yeah, that's my daughter. Um, I said, look, you know, she hit the back of the car. It was um, in Birmingham uh, along near, the, near St. Vincent's Hospital. Oh, yeah, 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 you know. He said, look, I'm pretty, pretty busy at the moment. I, you know, I said, she hit the back of the car. I'm pretty busy at the moment. I'm going off to... Um, church to do some preaching, you know, as a pastor, you know, so, oh, hell, you know, so he wasn't really totally interested, he said, we'll catch up, I'll write, I'll write you a check, and we'll um, sort it out, all right, so I rang him up, and he didn't do nothing, you know, he just, you know, oh, well, I'm busy, you know, mowing the lawn, ring me back in half an hour, I thought, yeah, here we go, you know, this is a preacher, so, we got a, we went on to um what do you call it um our insurance company and they the assessor worked out that it was going to be something like four hundred and sixty dollars or four hundred and eighty dollars just under the deductible of five um and the assessor come back and he said yeah see that back um you know light there you know I'll push the back in and push the clips in. So it actually, yeah, so it was going to be that. So we, I contacted the bloke again, you know, um, and he, yeah, you know, he'd done that sort of thing, you know, mowing the lawn, he wasn't totally interested. And then he said, ring me back in half an hour or something like that. Well, I think I did ring back or I didn't ring back because I was busy. Well, you know, so what? So we decided that we'll pass it through the um, insurance people. They sent him an email, they sent him the photos, um, we tried ringing again, no one would answer the phone, we tried ringing and that was it. Um, the, the insurance people said he wanted to have, have a photo so they sent more and they said well there's nothing we can do. So he didn't pay our bill and you know he said I told yeah, you know I think I rang another time, he said I told you yeah, to ring me back in half an hour. You know, it's full of puff and wind, I'm telling you. Um, I don't know who his name is right now. I forget. When I do find out, it was a black preacher in Pinson. Um, and his daughter at the time was probably, my wife's been work, was probably about 16. Um, um, it seemed like they were having a foreclosure on their home or um, they were moving or something like that because it was up, with, up for sale or whatever through a real estate agent or it was up for a short sale. But once I find out, I'll tell you. But yeah, I, um, my dealings with a black preacher is, you know, full of puff of wind, mate. Um, never intended to pay. That's why we went through our insurance company. 
um, because we just got the stuff around two times. I can't remember the other time what it was. I'd have to look back on my notes um, of that time, which, you know, I always keep notes of what I do and what times and hows and whens. Um, and our insurance company said, well, just because it was under the deductible of, you know, 20 or $30 or something like that, they couldn't do too much about it. So we did get a police report um, and we reported it to whoever it is down in Montgomery, but we never got a return reply. Um, the bloke, the preacher at the time when I spoke to him, I said, who was the assessor? Oh, yeah, I know that man, you know, the assessor of the case. Yeah, yeah, I know him, you know. So we thought, all right, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make it a lot easier for this, you know. There was no, um, that I can recall, no, sorry, we, we do apologise. Well, anything like that, it was like, well, I'll write you a cheque. And then, I just can't remember, there's one little detail in his, that I can't remember um, about the conversation. Um, he was going to write a cheque. Um, oh, yeah, in, in the second conversation that I tried to have with him was to meet up in Birmingham at my wife's work, um, which would be a central spot, which is about halfway. Um, well, that didn't come about either. Um, because he was busy, he was busy that day, you know, um, so anyway, I, I really, it's really difficult to say that all preachers are like that, um, but I just don't remember his name right now, and his daughter, I think, may have used her African name, you know, um, Hin Tira Takanara or something, some some, something like that and used a, a friend's um, cell phone because when we rang up the cell phone number um, that she gave my wife the person said they didn't even know the person um, who had hit up the back of her car um, we, my wife should have reported it there and then sat there in the, in the heavy traffic at Birmingham and got the police out and filed the report but we thought we could do this the honest way and just go and see them say, look, you know, this is a damage, can you fix it? Um, that's it. Um, but no, nah, doing it the honest way, we actually got stiffed with um, the bill and we didn't have um, time to come up with the bill. Our, our car's been off the road now for a while. Um, but we can get it back on the road. But they never came to the, the bloke who was going to write the check you know, what did he say? He said, oh, that night that you came, I didn't want to go out and look at it because it was night time and I may not have been able to see everything. We didn't even make an effort to come out and even have a look anyway because he was, you know, he made an excuse that he didn't, didn't want to come out because he was, you know, it was night time. But he, his other excuse was, oh, I'm going off to preach at church now. Um, I can't come, I can't come, I'm busy. You know, and we're only between that, the front door and our car park, parked on the run side of the road uh, next to his mailbox. So that's um, my, my dealings with a black preacher. Just full of air, mate. Um, when I know his name, um, maybe other people have dealt with him too and he's blowing them off. But when I deal with his name later on, I'll... Um, posted on here and um, see if anyone else has had dealings with that black preacher and he's yeah 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 I'm gonna do this gonna do that and never does nothing so anyway um, there was so much that our insurance could do we they as I said they sent him an email they sent him um, the, the details we rang and then it, 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 every time we keep ringing he was unavailable there was just it just kept ringing through so I'd use a different phone. That was that's what it was. Our phone number never kept ringing through, so I used a different telephone. And then he answered with it, and you know made up his little excuse that it was night time and that he was up, you know he couldn't see because it was night time. That uh, yeah, that was the second time, and I, and he said oh, I thought you were going to ring me. Oh well, I don't have to chase no bitch for no one. Um, 
he was he started bitching me. That's what it was. You know, I'll ring me up, do this, do that, and he never done nothing. He was, um, and um, that's the other thing that he came up with. He said, oh, I was looking at my um, car, and it doesn't look like there was much damage to my car. So, you know, there wasn't much damage to mine. Yeah, I, you know, there's just details. I'd have to look it all up, but that's my dealings with this black preacher or pastor. Um, who was who was in Pinson with his daughter who ran into the back of my wife's car. My wife was going to let it go until I showed her that the the gap between the um, black bumper bar was the difference between a normal gap and where she hit was the difference between that and that. So all that back end needed replacing. Um, Besides scratches, dints, and broken plastic, or whatever may be, um, yeah, that, that's what it was. It was yeah, the difference between the, that joined onto the corner versus that was some or that space or something like that, something like that space when she hit on that corner and sort of knocked it right in on the corner there, bent the whole bumper bar and all that right in. That's what it was. <coughs> anyway, yeah, he. No one would answer the telephone. Then when I used a different telephone, I think my cell phone, it was answerable. And then he said, oh, it was night time. And I was checking my car. It didn't have as much damage as what you said yours had. You know, and I need to see photos. And so we sent photos through the assessor. Uh, I'll be, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe I've had a bad dealing with the um, just the wrong person who couldn't own up to the mistake or even come up and say look I don't have the money can we sort something out over a period of time nah it wasn't like that it was just a um, blow off preacher full of wind <laughs> yeah just wind <laughs>